Hey RDI, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna go back in time. We are actually gonna do something we used to do a while ago, a few years ago. In fact, we've shared with you guys a couple of times this video. We used to have a small shop and we used to heat press do uh, what we're doing right now, basically uh, custom shirts, caps and all that stuff. And for this project, type of HTV that we'll be using is the Caesar Easy Weed. I think I mentioned it earlier and is the neon green. This design in particular is going to have two different colors. And I want to show you something cool, especially for those that are just getting started. When you're not very familiar with the vinyl or the different colors, we recommend that you guys get the color guide. If you are going to be selling a lot of shirts and using the HTV, we recommend that you get the uh, Caesar color guide and you will see exactly what kind of vinyl you are going to be getting instead of relying on what you see online, which sometimes turns out to be a different color or not exactly the color that you are looking for. Plus it has all the information. If you are not sure where you can apply your vinyl on and temperatures and all that stuff. Also, you will see like different kinds. They have like silver lens. They also have like patterns and also the glitter vinyls and look how cool they look and that's why you should consider getting this coloring guide and it's going to be in the description of the video you can also get that uh, for the decals if you are into making decals you should get the uh, oracle coloring guide the one we have in particular has covers a whole bunch of different vinyls from the premium cast 951 all the way to like a 631 vinyl for wall decals. This is the design as you see it's already mirrored each color. I mean obviously the letters are gonna be white and the other are gonna be neon green and we are gonna send it and we're gonna start cutting it. And the settings for Caesar Easy Weed and we have the Graphtech CE 6060 the blade has been used several times we have the cut force at 12 offset zero and speed at around 32 uh yeah 32. in the meantime we're just waiting for the heat press not the heat press the, the vinyl cutter and luis is taking some um beverage uh, not beverage but it's uh, just a, some apple juice sort of, some sort of pop. some apple juice. apple juice no he's not allowed to drink until next year yeah and yeah right now it's a little dark outside and that's one of the cool things about working from home that you know you get to chill you get to drink your uh, favorite soda all right we're about to start weeding out and you're about to see how good the uh, the vinyl cutter does like the small cuttings and all that the small designs this guy we have done other projects uh, with him we have worked with him before i mean we usually work with like construction people restaurants sometimes but um djs like this guy uh sometimes they spread the word and you never know he might send you another person and that's how we stay busy i think this one in particular brought another one right i think another yeah they, he brought another person and yeah i know we're wasting this area here but uh, I mean, there's a reason to why instead of, I guess, doing it, we could have easily cut it in half, but it would have taken a lot longer and we'd rather save uh, time and not, uh, not material because time, you cannot get it back. You it's cannot used. do both. Yeah. You either save time or you save material, but this material is being paid for, so. Yep. All right, let's, I think our next color is ready. And let me just show you the uh, vinyl cutter and by the way this is the heat press we'll be using today which is the Hattronics and we got it from stalls sorry that we have it on the on the floor but um, yeah it's a little bit uh, big and it gets in the way and since I mean right now we are going to start switching to selling a lot of t-shirts hoodies and all that stuff because uh, like Luis mentioned, the sticker car decals right, business right now, it's going to slow down a little bit. Okay, now it's time to start weeding out the second color. And let me show you the uh, really small details. And this is one of the cool things about our graphic. All right, this is where we're going to apply our HTV vinyl. This is made out of 
100% polyester is like a, a tablecloth or a table cover is made out of 100% polyester we know for sure that our vinyl is going to stay on it and this is let me get up and show you how big it is don't worry the floor is clean before we work on the settings for our heat press let's go check our coloring guide and get the uh, the right temperature pressure and all that information before we apply the vinyl according to our guide this is the kind of vinyl we are going to be applying on and is i mean uh working with the easy weed and you can apply it on 100 cotton 100 polyester or you can do any blends nylon it would not work on nylon so just be careful okay and this is the uh, temperature has to be from 305 yeah something like that like 305 but i think we're going to add a little bit more like probably like 308 309 pressure has to be about 9 and uh, 10 to 15 seconds and you can do um, hot or cold peel so let's lower it a little bit 308 and then 14 seconds and let's check the uh, pressure yeah, it's about medium. It's like in between like five and six. And we're gonna have to do a pre-press before we apply the vinyl. And this is how I always gonna do it. Just a few seconds to get rid of the moisture and the wrinkles. Just a few seconds. And just the area where he's going to apply the, the vinyl. Obviously, he has to place it here. This is not the first time we do something like this. And for this customer in particular, so we have an idea of where to place the logo. We're still gonna measure, make sure that we center it. Okay, we're gonna give it a few seconds. And we started with the center and then we're gonna start moving it to the sides to make sure that we heat press the whole logo. And just give it a few seconds cause we still gotta apply the next layer and repeat the same step on the other side. That's the cool thing about Caesar Easy Weed that you can just apply it for a few seconds and then you can get rid of the transfer. Okay, now we can do that. Now we can start removing it. And we're gonna do it carefully. We don't wanna pull it too hard or sometimes the vinyl will come off if you do it too hard and too fast. Before we apply the next layer of vinyl, we just want to get an idea of how the design looks before we heat press it and we'll do it for another few seconds okay we just repeated the same steps we started with the center i'm talking about the uh, the second layer the white part of it and we just finished with the two sides now i think uh, he's going to are you going to remove now the transfer or you still got to do this side i'm gonna go ahead and remove it and just do another uh, pre-press not pre-press but do it again just in case now he's doing the final press and we're pretty much finished with this the banner i gotta do some jackets all right and this is the jacket with the logo on the front and then on the uh, the sleeve which it looks pretty cool and this is the next one i'm gonna have to apply on the jackets all different colors separately i just put them on top of each other just to show you but they are uh, we cut them individually we're gonna apply the the black i mean the white first and then we'll apply the letters uh, the yellow and the red on top now i'm gonna apply the logo on the back and it actually feels just like the old times you know when we used to do this but um i mean i don't know if that's a good thing or not necessarily i think we've been spoiled with the decals that you know it's a lot easier and you make more money i'm not saying this is bad or anything but it takes a little bit more <laughs> it's a little bit more stressful honestly with you guys especially when you are working with something like this like the jacket that i'm working on yeah it's a different challenge compared to the the decals but at least you get to stay busy let's just put it that way so the thing that i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna apply the first layer i'm just gonna give it a few seconds and you can peel it off right away. I'm just going to give it four seconds. Now I'm going to peel it off. And it's totally fine if you guys apply different layers of vinyl. It's not going to last as long. We told the customer that um, about that. 
and he was okay with it and especially this garment you don't really wash it that often i know stinky but <laughs> yeah you don't wash it as often as you would with just a regular shirt and now we can apply the next layer of vinyl so this is what we mean by different layers i'm going to apply this one first and i'm just going to give it a few seconds then i can get rid of the transfer because we don't want to leave any marks and like two three seconds will be fine and i'm going to repeat the same steps i'm just going to get rid of this thing just be careful because it's a little bit hot although the uh, the process is very similar to when you do decals one of the difference though, the vinyl, um, you have to do a mirror when you are cutting the vinyl because, I mean, we have a video where we explain that a little bit more, I guess, but... Um, you don't have to enter uh, the transfer. It already yeah. comes in. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things. Oh yeah, I forgot that I have to remove this. Now I'm gonna give it the full cycle. All right. I got good news, I've lost so much weight. But just to give you an idea. Just so you get an idea how big Saul is, that's a 5XL. My name is not Pedro, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, we came to the end of the video. Thank you so much for uh, supporting us. And if you wanna support us additionally, there are gonna be some links in the description of the video. Also, we have VIP uh, memberships uh, and where you will get some behind the scenes and all kinds of different content. We appreciate it. And you can also get all your material also in our, our online store, which will be on also in the description of this video or on the first comment. And we also have some vectorized logos for you guys there. If you'd like to support us, we really appreciate it. All right, see you until the next video. Thank you so much.